Sunday, April 22nd, 2018. I had a couple of nightmares recently. So I would like to share these because I believe that I was given them by God for his purposes and what's going on and what's about to happen. So here we go. My first nightmare. My sister and I were driving up into a neighborhood parking lot to visit our brother who lives in an apartment complex. While we were trying to park, we noticed a couple of guys holding a long piece of fishing line on each end like a jump rope. They were planning to have us drive over it, and when we did, they were going to completely flip over our car. We knew that they were planning to do this to us. We could also tell that they were doing this to others as well. We certainly weren't the only ones. My sister put her window down and yelled out to the two guys. She told them firmly that they weren't going to flip our car and that they better not even try. Then we noticed other guys set to try to do the same thing to cars. They were pretending to do something else with the fishing line though. We parked our car and walked over to our brother's apartment building. There were actually multiple buildings which were all red brick. My sister and I both felt as though we were in a dangerous area in which something very bad could happen to us. I looked at my sister while standing next to the door of our brother's apartment building. I questioned. I should have parked close to it, meaning our brother's building, for safety. We both felt very unsafe. We then both were saying how it wasn't how it used to be. In my nightmare, we knew it was actually about Satan trying to get us to turn from God, to reject Jesus Christ and completely turn from Jesus. Satan was using his workers, the demons, Illuminati, witches, warlocks, antichrists, etc., to get souls for him to take to the eternal lake of fire in the abyss. We knew that we were not the only ones in which Satan was trying to do this to. The fishing line, I believe, was symbolic to us being true believers of Jesus Christ. I believe it also represents us being fishers of men, souls for Jesus Christ, as Jesus spoke of in the Holy Bible. Satan wants to scare us and hurt us so that we, true lovers of Jesus, will be afraid to witness for Christ. Satan wants to make us ineffective to quit, because it is too difficult. We are in too much pain, too tired, too focused upon ourselves, or just too afraid of the enemy's attacks. Wrong! We need to fight for and harvest souls up until the day comes when we go home. No matter what we face, no matter what we endure, no matter what we are going through or are afraid of going through, we must remain 100% faithful to Jesus Christ, who is our only Lord and Savior. We must be harvesters of souls. We must be fishers of men for Christ. Now here is regarding my second nightmare that I had recently. Okay. In this nightmare, it appeared to be the actual time of tribulation, actual hell on this earth run by Satan. I remember it being similar to the movie The Hunger Games. There were these creatures which were commanding human beings to do whatever they wanted them to do. The creatures were very dark, evil, wicked, and downright Satan-like. Sometimes they would change their appearance to look like a different wicked being. They were laughing a lot while obviously enjoying watching the humans do every single thing in which they were told to do. I recall uh, the one evil leader being snake-like. Others looked human at first and then changed into the true evil creature in which it actually was. They were mostly very tall as well. I realized that I was witnessing the actual tribulation times in America. So my advice is to you, be watching and ready for Jesus Christ to return at any second now to take the wise virgins, the true Christians, 
who are watching and ready for his appearing at any moment. Catch the rapture, guys. Catch that way home to be with Jesus Christ and your loved ones for all of eternity in heaven. Do not, do not, do not be left behind. It is going to be a total nightmare here on this earth. Some of those horror movies that they have put out, like the Hunger Games, those are true. Those are really going to come to pass, you guys. You don't want to be a part of it, okay? So, and remember, we need to keep witnessing to others in love, warning them of the times that we're in, the times that are coming ahead, warning them that they don't want to miss the rapture. Anyways, I hope to see you there in heaven um, when Jesus comes to take us home, okay? All of God's angels are already in place alongside of us, ready to take us up in the perfect formation, the perfect plan to our perfect destination, heaven. Be ready. Love you.